I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examine the rise of Skywalker as a film on its own, there's a mixture of fans. There's fans who absolutely love the return of Palpatine, then you have other fans that really were very disappointed and annoyed about Palpatine's return and how it was all executed by Disney and Lucasfilm and how they never explained in the movie how he really returned, only in a very subtle way by showcasing the Snoke clones. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike01. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that, yes, we do know that John and Dave are beginning to prepare to make huge announcements at Celebration this year, as well as, let's not forget about D23, that's going to be a very big deal, without a doubt. Uh, we also have a lot of earnings calls throughout the majority of 2023, you know, each quarter. So we have a lot of things happening at the same exact time between, you know, Favreau and Filoni and what they really want to do with the Skywalkers and the Legends characters and all the like that fans just respect and cherish so very much. Now, that brings us to what John and Dave are preparing to do for upcoming Star Wars projects, one of which is a big one that's going to have a very high budget that's going to take place many years after the events of Episode 9. So this involves and actually concerns the character of Luke Skywalker and how some fans may like this, some fans may not like this at all. Um, it's all about reversing Luke Skywalker's death and how John and Dave are already planning to make this happen. And there is a twist to it all that may actually set off some fans. Some fans may not like this overall approach. Other fans may very well respect it. However, with that, of course, being put out there, at the end of The Last Jedi, it left many fans upset with what happened to Luke on the cliff of Ahch 2, vanishing into the netherworld of the Force by Ryan Johnson. However, currently, both John and Dave are preparing to do something truly substantial for Luke Skywalker by reversing his death in a unique way for the fans and the franchise with an upcoming Rise of Skywalker sequel show that is set to make a big change for Luke. Now, John and Dave already have met up with Mark Hamill to make his return in this new Rise of Skywalker sequel series that is planned to have a high budget with a 2026 release date. The plan by Favreau and Filoni is to have Luke return as flesh and blood through the power of the wills, aka the power of the gods, to help aid characters like Rey and some new characters face a new foe that is said to be a new foe in the franchise. This foe is said to be a young clone of Palpatine that goes under a new code name that was not destroyed on Exegol that houses the spirit of Sidious again, and that John and Dave are making an attempt to make Luke Skywalker come back to, to destroy the Sith once and for all, and to become the true chosen one with the help of his father, Anakin, from the Netherworld. Now, let me just pause here for a second. Now, we know that John and Dave have different phases of developing Star Wars shows and Star Wars projects. They first usually go through their notes phase where they're brainstorming ideas. We like to talk about that of what's going on behind closed doors at Lucasfilm. Then they move over to storyboarding and concept art and finalizing some of those scenes from those illustrations to be used in the script. So basically the notes are all like preliminary stuff and a lot of the storyboards and the concept art is closer to the finalization of what's going to be implanted into the story. Now this, all right, is a mixture of notes and storyboards that have been created by John and Dave. And basically what they are doing is that they are using the power of the wills to literally transform Luke from a force ghost back to his physical form. I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to take that, to be honest. Some fans may say that's a little, you know, out of reach here, a little out of the ordinary or way too extreme for something like Star Wars, but... Then again, we have a thing like the world between worlds that exists. So I don't think that this is too crazy. In fact, given that George Lucas originally was going to do this for uh, Return of the Jedi with Obi-Wan Kenobi in his original script, it's not too out of left field. Now, there's a catch to all this, is that John and Dave are aiming to bring Luke back to life as flesh and blood, but it may not be, be a thing on a permanent scale, more or less of something on a temporary scale to just aid the new Jedi Order 
and of course some of the characters that come along with it. Now, with that being of course, you know, established, on top of this, Palpatine is said to be one of three villains in the sequel series, of him being the last, and that he will be showing up at the end of the show, which is the plan based on John and Dave's notes. John and Dave are planning to make him a young Palpatine clone. Sidious coming back again is a parallel to what happens in Legends, where he died twice and came back twice after Return of the Jedi. So that's true, guys. In Dark Empire, Palpatine dies in Dark Empire 1, and then he comes back in Dark Empire 2, lives throughout that, and, you know, survives until Dark Empire, Empire's End. And in Empire's End, he dies in a very interesting way that John and Dave are going to copy it from, but change things around a little bit. We're going to get into that in just a second. This, by the way, is all in the notes process and is heading into the whole storyboarding process. Now, Sidious coming back, of course, is something that may be very controversial. One of John and Dave's notes involves Luke coming back as flesh and blood for one purpose and one purpose only, to eventually absorbing Palpatine's escaped spirit and dragging him into the netherworld of the Force, destroying Palpatine's essence once and for all, forever. Now, of course, they are going to have a showdown between Luke and Palpatine before that happens. But this is basically the Will's way of allowing Skywalker to finally destroy Palpatine once and for all. Now this, by the way, guys, is a callback to Empire's End. In Empire's End, there's a character called Brand. I don't know if you guys know about Brand, but he was, I believe, the Jedi Apprentice of Yaddle. And in Dark Empire, Empire's End, the way that Brand kills Palpatine forever is he does the exact same thing that they are planning to do with Luke here. He absorbs his essence, his escaped spirit, out of his young body or old body, takes the spirit, absorbs it into his own body, and dies along with it, and becomes one with the Force. Palpatine cannot live in the netherworld, and so his spirit just disintegrates. That's basically the overall idea that John and Dave are now aiming for, to bring Luke back to life, temporarily speaking, and to have a true purpose this time and actually dying. So you can see, they're reversing his death in two different ways. Not only are they literally reversing his death, but they are also reversing the meaning of his death. What it really means for him to die. And this makes a lot more sense. I think that this is more powerful and more emotional and a little bit more courageous. You know, I felt that Luke doing the force projection technique, you know, though it was something that nobody expected. I mean, nobody expected that at all. Um, some fans did not like that. A lot of fans actually did not like that because of how it just killed him. Meanwhile, in Dark Empire, Luke uses that ability with ease. He does not die at all. So it kind of just seems like Ryan Johnson copied that power from Dark Empire, but only used it to weaken Luke easily. So anyways, Guys, fill me in, because this is a very interesting thing that, that I think fans are going to have different opinions on. What you guys have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.